No surprise for the artist, no surprise for the viewer. The best pieces and the most interesting pieces are the ones that always have an element of kind of surprise or magic. The kind of scientific experimental process is very much what I'm after. I really don't want to know the answers before I start. I want to be shown things. And the more kind of surprising results I get from something, the more attractive it is to me. And glass is kind of the far end of that. Like, it really only does what it wants to, and anything else results in, uh, in failure. Well, and glass to me is always kind of a precarious thing. I mean, particularly people that work with it a lot, you get very used to breaking it. I started making pieces in the inflatable series about 10 years ago, and they're slowly getting a little bit more complex and a little bit more under control, but there's still always kind of exercises in, not really chance, but exercises in cooperation. The Ropework series, I experiment with a lot of different ways of working with glass, kind of to see how I can change the families of objects by changing the process that I use to come up with them. I always like try to, to try to keep a, a tension between the, the rules and the rebellion. Minimal tension kind of refers to the surface tension of kind of soap bubbles and inflated forms and cellular organisms a lot of times. The natural inclination of things is to find the state in which there's a minimal amount of stress on the structure. And most of the things that I do, when they're successful, they kind of reach a state of minimal tension.